Patrice. Yes. What is your advice for artists reaching out to sync industry pros? Okay. So first things first, um, do your research. That's really, really important. Um, it's a courteous, it's, it's, it's a point of courtesy for people, not only for the person that you're reaching out to, but for yourself as well, right? Um, a lot of times people approach and they're like, I've got this great song, and they're super excited about it, which they should be, um, but they want to make sure that they are not sending a rock song to a music supervisor that's working on a, you know, a song that is heavily, um, the music is heavy with hip hop, right? It's like it doesn't do anyone any service. So I think the most important thing they can do is make sure to be looking up these different, be it a sync, you know, agent or music library or a music supervisor themselves and looking at the projects that they're working on and or the TV shows you can start from that end of it you can look at the TV show and see if you can find out who is the music supervisor for that or who deals with the music in that show and then you want to look at that and you want to pay attention to the music um, and see if your music would fit into that you could take even a scene from the show itself and you could mute it and then you could put your music on and see if that kind of like vibes with it and it works with it um obviously you'd have to like find the right scene and stuff like that but you could see right you could see if your music kind of went along with that so that would be like the first thing that i would say is make sure to do your research and you know out of respect for them and yourselves because you won't do yourself a service if you're not doing that and you won't do them a service and it's a big small world you know, if you do that enough times, people might be like, oh God, I got reached out by this person. And you know, they sent me this this music and it has nothing to do. And it's like, oh, who's that? And say they're talking, you know, you just don't want those situations to happen. So first and foremost, do your research. Um, the next thing I would say is a, well, I guess the next part would be like a tip is you can do start by doing your research on what's called TuneFind. It is a website that, um, shows you all the different TV shows and the music that was on that show. So that's really a nice quick way to do a quick scan through. It only gives you the clips of the songs, but you can start to get an idea there. And sometimes even it will give you who is the person that is doing the music there. So it's kind of a win-win there. So you can check out that resource to help you find where your songs um, may be best suited. And then the other thing I would say is once you've kind of done your research, you found, yes, my music fits this here, is when you're reaching out, um, this isn't about take away like the me, me, me kind of part of it. And it's about you and seeing how you can service them. Because I think that, yes, it's going to help you and it's really cool and it, it's a cool way for you as an artist to get money and exposure and different things like that. Um, but you know, when people reach out and it's like, hi, so-and-so, um, I'm so-and-so and you know, I'm a singer songwriter and I've done this, this, and this. And it's like, I, 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 it just comes off that way. I don't like always being approached that way. I think it's kind of like, okay, like maybe there's a way that you can be, uh, or I'd like to start my emails with like, hi, so-and-so, thank you so much for taking the time to read this email, right? First of all, it's like a cordial kind of thing because I'm appreciative, right? If they're reading that, thank you. <laughs> you you got, it, got that far. Um, and then the next thing would be, once you've done your research, you can add into there like, I really like and be genuine about it. Um, the ad you did, blah, 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 and the music that you did with that. And then you could subway, like segue, not subway. What is subway sandwich is subway? <laughs> <laughs> segue into um you know i have some really great songs that i think could be a good fit for your show and one big err uh, is like don't attach your songs don't attach your songs too big of a file they won't open it so send a link send a link to your song or songs i wouldn't go nuts i wouldn't send like 20 songs um that's really a lot for them to do these are busy busy people um, and then you can put that there. So I would just be courteous and thoughtful 
in your email if you end up by watching an interview with this person you could cite that it just shows that you've done more than sometimes unfortunately the average musician that's just kind of reaching out blindly um it, it shows you know more of what you're talking about when you don't attach the songs when you actually have looked at their work um you have a bit more of a, a a foot ahead there so that's what i'd say when it comes to reaching out to me